Hey, what is going on YouTube and welcome to this very special edition of where we'll focus on the latest update. It's pretty big. All right, so let's take a look at the overview list. So we have a few additions here. We have the new North Star survey ship. Really looking forward to this one. Envoy's protected cargo value updated. So this is gonna be a huge one again. Small mission changes. The capacity of all mines is higher. The mining speed of three star materials is higher. Systems can have mines of multiple possible capacities. This one is gonna be huge. Changes to mining setups in multiple systems. Changes to hostile setups in multiple systems. Patrol and survey faction hostile strength is reduced. This is going to be great for all you lower players out there. Addition of three new systems with 12 missions each for introducing factions. Reduction of warp range in multiple systems. Multiple officer maneuvers and ability fixes. This is a huge one. We've been having multiple issues with officers, so this is going to be a huge one. Okay, big note here, all the mining and hostile updates will only affect new mines and hostiles. This means there will be for a few days where you'll see both old and new mines and hostiles. So, you know, this is pretty much expected. That was the overview. From this point onwards, we'll be going into detail on each of these things. So, let's keep the discussion going. Do you have any thoughts on these updates? Anything that you would like to add? Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Okay, here we have the North Star. It specializes in mining three star crystal, ore, and gas. It is fast with warp speed comparable to Valhallas and impulse similar to the Kedra. Mining speed bonus, tier one is 550%. This is crazy. To maintain its speed, the North Star sacrificed some of its cargo limit. The base is around 3,000. Here we have the Envoy. The protected cargo of the Envoy was going down instead of up with each upgrade. This is now fixed. If that isn't enough, there is a whole bunch of missions to choose from, plus some new ones too. Mines now have different capacities in each star system. This is to create diversity among mines. Take a look at this one. There are also a whole bunch of mining changes. Lots of different warp paths have been updated to reach systems earlier and to prevent players from going down longer ones. There are now three new systems, Lorelia, Kaikara and Karhur, are all full of dilithium making it easier to reach higher levels. Last but not least, there are a whole bunch of officer fixes. This is going to give you that much needed boost for attack. Captain abilities that you dreamed about are now becoming a reality. That's pretty much it for now. I'll be listing all the changes made in game in the description below. And don't forget, if you want to join in the conversation, please leave a comment below. Alright, until next time.